When we began to learn about creative tourism after a visit to Santa Fe and the new UNESCO Creative Cities Network, and we saw that these were people who had communities like ours that had deep cultural assets in their community and how were they were using them to help the artists and the arts to be sustainable for the future, to carry on traditions, learn new things that would soon be traditions. It's, it's a long process, but to consider that a community of our size in Paducah is one of only you know three cities in the country and of course a handful around the world that have this designation, we could not be more proud of that. Paducah has a unique understanding of what art is and what art means. Paducah has been a creative city for many, many years. Paducah is a community that has a quality of life to it that attracts the arts and it attracts people to an authentic experience. You can come into the Market House Theater. It has the National Quilt Museum, the Carson Center, the River Discovery Center. We have something that is a big city feel right here in the little city of Paducah. There's everything from performing arts to visual arts to arts museums, history museums, science museums. The community uh, believes in it and I think the community thrives because of it. It's good economic development. Uh, the arts uh, attracts visitors. People who are looking to relocate businesses want to know what happens outside of the eight hours that they're at the office. Well, the tangible return is uh, tax receipts that the state, the different cities and counties receive. It's the people that come into your community and many of them stay. It's one of your largest economic engines in the state of Kentucky. The intangible is the uh, friends that you make throughout the world. I have a research project regarding the creative city, city of Kanazawa, which is one of the creative cities in Japan. So there's the comparison study between Kanazawa and Paducah. Uh, I have a license. Uh, I'm a trained architect as well. When I came here and see the downtown, also in lower town, the architecture is beautiful and you have a great asset. Any given month, maybe uh, in our own guest register, maybe 12 to 15 countries walk into the Visitors Bureau. There are people who are very interested in the arts, the culture, the heritage. Many of the people come here because strictly of quilting, it's a bucket list thing. Mary and the folks at the Convention and Visitors Bureau are our frontline people to attract people into town to make sure they're welcome when they get here. And they do a wonderful job. Uh, they're key to our community and we appreciate the work they do. It's a very collaborative effort in Paducah. This is just a tremendous group of people who, who see the essence of what we're doing here and, and recognize its importance. The arts in Paducah are this great mix uh, where we feed off of each other. We have a very strong commitment to be, uh, to be interwoven into the fabric of the community. We uh, just have an incredible quality of life. Our arts community is a fantastic part of that and we're proud to show off Kentucky here at home in Paducah. Um, the arts are our soul. It's a way for all of us to express ourselves outside of the boundaries of logic and reason, and we have this, this um, international means of communication. Art speaks louder than words, and, uh, and uh, it just goes beyond the language barrier, so that is so universal. Art's not just one-dimensional. There are many types of art. And bringing it all together is the fun part. The folks at our CVB could not be more talented and more incredibly driven to represent our community here and in the state and around the world, and we love them.